Hey everybody, it's Henry Steele and today is September 1st, 2021, which makes this the first weekly video of the month of September 2021. And as I look to my right here, I see my calendar. And even though September is one of the shorter months, with only 30 days, there's going to be five weekly videos this month because of the way the days are arranged. So, this will be the first of five weekly videos for the month of September. 2021. And in this weekly video, I want to talk to you about a mathematical secret that's not really a secret. I just wanted to bring something out because a lot of people don't realize this. They either don't remember it when they went to school, they don't ever use it really necessarily in day-to-day -day life, they don't realize it. I guess there's probably a few people out there that maybe never learned this. But what I'm about to show you here is something special that happens within a certain range of numbers okay so if we take multiplication we all know what that is right let's do 10 times 10 as our example of course that's 10 multiplied 10 times and all that really means is there are 10 tens we could do 3 times 15 which comes out to 45 and what this means this multiplication problem this means there's three 15s so you would add those up so in other words obviously multiplication is just a quicker way to do addition and then we could invert this or do it do division which we could do 45 divided by 3 equals the 15 and of course 100 divided by 10 would be 10 so division and multiplication, it's pretty easy to understand the basic concepts, right? Multiplication increases, division decreases. But something special happens between the number zero and the number one. So let me give you an example. Let's say we take the number uh, 0.3 and I multiply that by 15. I get the same 45, but because I used a 0.3, the decimals slid over, and instead of 45, it's 4.5. We've still increased, so there's nothing really abnormal about what's going on. Instead of, you know, the only thing really is that we're not using whole numbers at this point. We're using decimals that are smaller than 1. So I used 1 of the two numbers in the multiplication problem that was above 0, but smaller than 1. The other number I used was greater than 1, so this multiplication problem increased just like normal. But if I were to go and use 0.3, which is between 0 and 1, and multiply that by 0.15, which again is between 0 and 1, what happens is the number actually gets smaller right we get that same 45 that shows up whether we're doing 3 times 15 point 0.3 times 15 but when we use in a multiplication problem both numbers between 0 and 1 we get a decrease in value instead of an increase in value okay so that's something to keep in mind when playing around with mathematics okay it kind of has a counterintuitive effect on the value when you're using numbers between 0 and 1. You don't really, most people don't think, oh, multiplication, yeah, that's going to decrease a number. Well, between 0 and 1, it does. Okay? So there can be things that are hidden because there are a number between 0 and 1. You might be given a number that's above that. Let's say the number 15, just as an example. You're given the number 15. Maybe you're given the number 3. And you multiply those and you get, of course, 45. You get an increase. But you also get, if you use, slide the decimal over and use 0.3 times 0.15, you get a decrease. You get that same 45 shows up in the answer. But the actual value has decreased it's lower than both 0.3 and 0.15. Okay, so now, obviously, division works the opposite way as multiplication does. So if I took 45 and divided it by 15, it would be 3. So we've got the same numbers that we're working with, but we're going from the bigger number 
to the smaller numbers, obviously. So the same thing happens in division between 0 and 1. Instead of the decrease that we would expect, we actually get an increase. So if I did, let's say, 0.5 divided by 0.5, it actually equals 1. In other words, it increased, right? So this is just something that I wanted to point out. Like I said, it's a secret that's not really a secret. People who aren't mathematically inclined or don't really do much mathematics in day-to-day -day life probably don't really think about this very much or realize it. People who are very involved with mathematics are very aware with of this. So this is probably a relatively useless video for them. But there's probably a lot of people out there who don't really realize that you can hide something counterintuitive by using the decimal point a bit differently. In other words, if you use a number that's greater than 1 with your multiplication or division, you're going to increase with multiplication and you're going to decrease with division. But if you hide a number between 0 and 1 with a decimal point, the multiplication and division are going to work backwards. So something to consider. So hopefully all of you have a wonderful week ahead. I'll talk to you in next week's video.